Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Nai. Today we are going to discuss about removal of asylum products or null products. As you know, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. In our previous videos, we have seen what is a grammar, what is a context-free grammar, what is an ambiguous grammar, and we have learned how to remove a useless symbol. So in this video, we are going to learn how to remove a epsilon product or a null product. Basically, removal of epsilon product is not like removal of a useless symbol where we just drop the symbol. If we directly want to remove a production of the type A derives epsilon or B derives epsilon, there is a possibility that that language generated by this particular grammar changes. So in order to avoid that, we need to make appropriate substitution while removing epsilon product from a grammar. So any product of the form A derives epsilon is known as epsilon product or a null product. Any variable A in a context-free grammar from where I can reach epsilon by many substitution is known as a nullable variable. So let us try to understand what is a nullable variable from this particular example. S derives ABA, A derives AA or epsilon, B derives BB or epsilon. Here you can see that A derives epsilon is there. So I can write A is a nullable variable. B derives epsilon is also available in this production. So B is a nullable variable. It means from A directly I can reach epsilon and from B directly I can reach epsilon. Again I am having A derives AA. So either directly I can substitute A or I can use A to derive AA and then I substitute epsilon. But from A I can derive epsilon. With a similar argument, B also derive epsilon. So I can say A and B are nullable variable. Now we have a production S derive ABA. S is also nullable as A and B are nullable. In this production, on the right hand side, we are ABA and A and B both are nullable. So I can say that I can derive a null string starting from S. It means from S I can go to A and from A I can derive a epsilon. From S I can go to B and I can derive a epsilon. From S again I can go to A and from A I can derive epsilon. So here S is also a nullable variable. So in order to remove the null products, let us see what are the steps that we need to follow. The first thing is find all the null labor variable from the null productions. The second step is write all the production containing null label variable in the right hand side of any production once by including the null label variable and once by excluding the null label variable and then remove the epsilon product. And the third step is includes those productions without having any kind of null label variable on the right hand side as it is. Now let us try to apply these three steps to remove a null production from a given grammar. Let us take an example here. S derive A, B, A. A derives A, A or B, A or epsilon and B derives B. The first step is find all the null label variable from null productions. Here you can see A derives epsilon is there. So I can say A is a nullable variable. Now I got A is nullable, so go to the second step. So we need to write all the production containing the nullable variable on the right hand side of any production once by including the nullable variable and once by excluding the nullable variable and then we'll remove the epsilon production. So here we are having S derived A, B, A and A is a nullable variable 
on the right hand side of this production i am having a so what i have to do as a is a nullable variable once i'll write including this a and then i'll just write this particular production excluding a so i got a b a and b a one more production is there a derives a a or b a here you see i am having a on the right hand side while writing a a i have already included the nullable variable a so the next step is i have to exclude the capital a and write the small a similarly in this case also i have included the capital a which is a nullable variable so next what i need to do i need to write only the terminal b and as epsilon is there in this production i need not write epsilon anymore so what i got for this particular production i got a as nullable variable and s derive a b a or b a then a derives a a b a a or b now come to the third step so if at all any other production are there in which there is no nullable variable on the right hand side we need to write as it is so we are having only one production so we'll write that as it is so after removal of the null production for this particular grammar the reduced grammar is this one i hope you understood this but still let us take one more example for our better understanding so here s derive a x a or a a then a derives b b or epsilon b derives a or b c then c derives b now we are having only one production a derives epsilon so a contains a null production and a is a nullable variable so we need to check all the productions where on the right hand side nullable variables are existing so take the first production s derive a x a or a a here on the right hand side the nullable variable a are present so what i'll do once i'll write including a and once i'll write excluding a so take this first part a x a here a is included so if i'll exclude the first a i'll be getting x a now i'm having one more a here so if i'll remove this particular a then i'll be getting ax it is possible to substitute epsilon in first place and at the third place also so in first and third place if i'll substitute epsilon i'll get only x so in this production i am having one more term which contain capital a on the right hand side so a a so if i'll substitute epsilon in place of this particular a the remaining will be small a the second in the second step for the first production rule we got this now second production rule a derives b b on the right hand side there is no a but epsilon is there so we'll remove epsilon and write a derives b b in the third production we are having b derives a or b c now in place of this a i can substitute epsilon so if i substitute epsilon i can get epsilon and in the fourth production c derives b there is no a on the right hand side so i'll write as it is now while eliminating epsilon from a derives epsilon i got one more production that includes epsilon we have to eliminate this b derives epsilon also so our reduced grammar is this one right now and we are having b derives epsilon so it is a null production and b is a nullable variable so we'll check wherever on the right hand side of the production we are having b we need to substitute with epsilon now we need to check in which production on the right hand side we are having b so in the first production there is no b so we'll write as it is in the second production we are having a derives b b we are having two b's so on the first b if i'll substitute epsilon i'll get single b so in the second b also if i substitute epsilon i'll get a single b so it remains the same 
here I can substitute epsilon for the first B as well as for the second B. So I'll get a epsilon again. And the third and fourth production, there is no B at all. You can see here, we are getting one more epsilon. A derives epsilon already we have removed. So we need not do anything. So for this given grammar, after elimination of null products, we get this particular grammar. I hope you understood how to remove null production from a given grammar. If you understood, give me a like and share among your friends. If you are having any kind of doubt, definitely comment. In our next video, we are going to see how to remove a unit production. See you then. Take care. Bye.